Cowboys. And now if you will help me welcome, help me welcome to the podium, national radio and television commentator, Miss Lisa Fritch. to lift this up. Heroes and its villains. 
But let's make a pledge to one another and demand from our politicians conservative values and that the rights from God Almighty will once again reign in this great land. And let us make it clear to every politician in every state, in every party, no, that government will not be our God. And finally, it's time to make it known that conservative values in the Republican Party are American values. They are Texas values. And that these conservative truths that founded and sustained this great land transcend race, political party, and social class. Just as the words of Dr. Martin Luther King belong to us all, so do the conservative principles founded by our, our creator above and our forefathers. These, for, these forefathers helped us understand what this country was built on and is all about. And so we will stand tall and defend them as is our duty and our privilege. For too long we've allowed the left to use these values divisively and to make them about greed, racism, and social class, or a religious intolerance. But right here and right now, as we stand up for Texas, we will take these values back in November. And we say, there ain't nothing wrong with a little hard work, sacrifice, helping a neighbor in need, charity, family, and love of God. It is a love that knows no bounds in charity and in giving, but it is also a love that understands if you don't work, you don't eat, no matter what your race, your religion, or your social class. Now I have to tell you, we do hope that our president found out what is special about Texas while he's been here a couple times around. And it's not just our vast lands of ranches and rattlers. It's not our big boots and our big hair, or our seriously good barbecue, or our big love for this great state. I hope that it's, he sees that it's about our big hearts that makes Texas and America true and strong. And when he flies back to Washington, let's leave him with a few things he can put his hands on. Mr. President, put your hands on the Bible on which you swore to uphold that Constitution because in it you will find that as the founders noted, our rights come from our Creator and not from our government. Mr. President, won't you put your hands on the Constitution and the Bill of Rights so that you will find that there are limits and boundaries to your executive power and your authority. And above all, Mr. President and Washington, the eyes of Texas are upon you.